SP Bright Edafe, the spokesman for the Delta State Police Command, has one point of sale operators against handling transactions exceeding 500,000, advising that, that such amounts should be dealt with a, at bank to avoid involvement in criminal activities. In a video, Edafe highlighted a case where a POS operators received 4 million naira from a suspect, which one out of ransom from the kidnapping or operator's profit was only 40,000 naira yet to become entangled in the crimes. It often warned POA's operators not to be used by criminals as such transactions could lead to illegal trouble. The suspect Thomas Ogene Okoku admitted that it was his first time handling such a large sum and claimed he was unaware of the criminal nature of the transaction. All right. This is a warning from Bright Edafe, that's a spokesperson uh, for the police command of Delta State. And he's warning the point of sales operators, that is POS operators, that they shouldn't do any transaction that is above 500,000 in order for you not to land in trouble. But I am wondering because I remember some months ago, uh, they were actually enjoining all of them to go and register their POS. If it is not registered, they will... Uh, uh, block it or whatever thing but there was a sanction that was applied to that and i was thinking that after all this registration it was in order to be able to use this for a legal business right because there are times you go to bank and there are no I mean you won't see cash there but there were also at, at times that we the amount of money you get from pos you can't possibly get from bank so i believe that pos is out there to make life easier for people so when they are saying, when he's advising, yes, he's a good advice though, but do you think that people are going to heal to this, knowing that I am out there to make money? So why should I refer you to go to bank when I can do it and get my percentage? Despite the criminal activities that was involved here, which we, we condemn that. Well, uh, what I can say uh, is the fact that whether the police spokesman in Delta State is speaking from the point of law or an act, or based on doctrine of necessity uh, surround that environment between that period you know assessing uh, the dealer and customers to know the terrain that i can't tell mm. otherwise if that is not in line with the act of the limit transaction of that pos dealer I think maybe the advice is coming based on his safety. If not, it's what to ignore. It's what to ignore and continue your business. Uh, because to the base of my knowledge, I know that the law, I think, uh, started from 5 million naira. Any private or an individual who want to transact a fund above 5 million naira, there should be a report from the receiver end the reason why you are receiving the five million naira you file in your report uh, then from bank two on day limit all depend on the status of your account you have the limits of the value of money you transact in a day you okay. move out from your account and if the the pos dealer has that kind of liberty to transfer or to transact, to withdraw or transfer or cash giving up to 500,000 Naira in a day. What is his offense or our offense? I don't think anything wrong with that. Except is coming from the angle of that environment is not safe for her to have cash of 500,000 Naira at hand. Again, also remember that there was a time Nigeria was trying to establish a policy of... I think they have also established that cashless policy. Policy, yeah. And that gave birth to so many wallet accounts and POS as a means of to decentralize pressure from the commercial banks so that you can get the money from bank, you can get money from wallet account, you can get money from POS and the rest. But you know... We, we, also come, we also came from a country whereby every little opportunity, people take it for granted.